Well, the snow and rain not stopping people from hitting the road for the holiday weekend with COVID canceling Christmas gatherings last year. Many are determined to make it to their destinations this year. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live in Nyack tonight where drivers have hit a few slowdowns already. Marley, huh? Yeah, they definitely have, Tony and Elizabeth. You can see the snow is coming down right now, but that is wreaking havoc on the highway. A lot of drivers out here right now frustrated because they're trying to put the chains on. And I met up with one couple that actually was stuck in an overheated van. But all of that not stopping people from trudging along because they just want to make it home for the holidays. A rush on the road to get home for the holidays, whether through snow or pouring rain. But for Jose Calderon, when it rains, it pours. What happened to your car? Oh, it got overheated because of the, they had an accident, so we were stuck on traffic like for what, like almost six hours? Six hours? Six hours on traffic. A real life nightmare before Christmas, but apparently worth the risk. AAA predicts nearly 110 million people will hit the road between now and January 2nd. That's almost 34% more than last year. Going What's he call you? Do you call you grandpa? He calls me Papa. Papa. All right, you ready to go home for Christmas? Yeah. Papa Joe Deezer has a holiday mission on the highway, getting his eight-year-old grandson Josh back to Reno from Sacramento. Steve McQuarrie urges drivers to stay put, especially since he's the one changing tires on the side of the highway. So this time of year keeps you busy. Oh yeah, real busy. I'm up here putting my, on tires on semis and they're running over chains, blowing tires out left and right, and I'm stuck in the traffic half the time. That gets to be a mess. A mess with a mission. Jose knows that all too well after an accident added six hours to his road trip, but getting home for the holidays makes it all worth it. So I hope I'm good so I can make it back to Christmas. <laughs> I'm almost there. I mean, I'll make it little by little, but I'll make it. Yeah, little by little for sure. You can see they're putting the work in out here, putting those chains on their tires. And a series of winter storms will make travel tricky through the mountains, the foothills. So keep a heads up out there. But of course, for a lot of these people, they just want to be home with family and friends for Christmas.